uh, this is Michael Karp. I've got some demonstrations of the reparent tool, which I've been talking about in some of the demos. The reparent tool is uh, very useful for a wide ranging number of uses. Uh, the reparent tool takes an item, even if it has animation on it, and it gives it a new parent. When you give something a new parent, there's a concept in uh, parenting called preserve position, which means that when you give an object a new parent, um, it will stay in the same position in world space. The problem with preserved position, which is normally on when you parent, is that if the child of the parenting operation has uh, any animation on it, uh, then the uh, preserved position won't work and the object will move. So the reparent tool basically bakes things so that they'll stay, even if they've got animation on the parent and the child, uh, the object will keep in the same place in world space. So let's take a look at a more advanced use of this tool. We've got a shot here of an actor on a treadmill. So there's actually two match moves going on. There's a camera match move and then after that there's a separate hierarchy in there which is the motion of the treadmill. The camera is tracked semi-automatically in 3D equalizer but I track the treadmill actually by hand for the most part because there's those yellow tape marks on the rubber that can be a fairly good reference. So what's happening is that they have a limited amount of blue screen space so they have to put them on a treadmill although there were some shots in the movie where they had it would be running on a, a blue screen without a treadmill. So let's take a look at the after shot. So we see here that um, the tracking is working out fairly well, but things look different because he's no longer walking in space. Somehow we took the motion of him on the treadmill, negated that motion, and then put that motion into uh, the camera. So let me show you in a simplified example how the reparent tool does that. We have a very gross animation of a character on a treadmill. I don't quite have his feet holding on the floor, but it'll be good enough for what we're doing here. So what we want to do is take the object motion of the treadmill here and negate that object motion. So basically take the object motion and convert it into uh, motion of the um, actor or as in the previous example uh, from the live action uh, it was uh, the motion was uh, put into the uh, camera so this is a slightly different example but I think we'll be okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to take this node here which is the uh, which is a master for the character and then we're going to reparent it to the treadmill so here's the reparent tool and the reparent tool just does basic Maya parent constraints locators and bakes but it automates a lot of different functions so the child is going to be the one of the masters for the um, troll and then the, um, I mean, the, the child will be the master for the troll, and then the um, parent object will be the treadmill. So what's going to happen when I hit this button is that we won't really see any changes. So I hit this, and then everything seems the same. When I scrub, everything looks like it did before. But what's happened, if you look here, is that the treadmill is now over the troll, and uh, the troll master, which used to have no animation at all, if you look in the channel box here, it's actually moving quite a bit. So it's got a negative motion. That's the reverse of whatever the treadmill was doing. And it's got a, an inverse, an inverted motion, so that the troll stays the same place in space. So what I have to do is take the treadmill. And we're just going to mute it. It's uh, translations. and mute is brown. So now 
all the motion of the treadmill has been removed and the troll has received that motion. Again, not a very perfect job on the animation and getting the feet to stick, but I think you get the idea. So this repair tool is used all the time to convert camera motion to object motion, to move an object from uh, underneath a scene node that's got a non-zero value, or even animation, uh, so that a camera can from, move from one parent to another. Um, so any amount of uh, animation on the parent or child is compensated for. And then this uh, new trick is an extra special.